Hello and welcome again to Over the Hill Outdoors. If you spend enough time in the outdoors, eventually you're going to run into a situation where you don't have a compass or a working GPS unit, you need to know direction, and it's dark. So, what are you going to do? In this video, I'll talk about a few nighttime direction finding techniques using the moon and the stars that I routinely use to keep myself oriented when hiking at night. Not all these techniques work in all parts of the world, but they do work where I live in the mid-latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere. The most well-known directional reference in the night sky for the Northern Hemisphere is the North Star. It's easy to find and it's as reliable as a compass for determining which way is true north. It's found by locating the Big Dipper and then using the two stars of the cup that are furthest from the handle as pointers. Draw an imaginary line between those two stars up and out to a point about five times the distance between those two stars. The semi-bright star at the end of this line is the North Star. The North Star is the only celestial nighttime body that never appears to move. All other stars and constellations, including the Big Dipper, rotate around the North Star in a counterclockwise direction. But the North Star can always be identified by using the Big Dipper and its two end stars as a pointer. Other constellations can be used for making crude estimates of direction. My favorite one is Orion. Uh, it's easily recognized, very prominent, at least in my part of the world. The key stars in the Orion constellation are his shoulders, knees, belt, and dagger sheath. The stars making up the sheath of Orion's dagger are aligned in a roughly north-south direction, and the top of the sheath nearest the belt, um, it points north, and the bottom of the sheath, the furthest end from the belt, points south. And as I said before, this is a fairly crude estimator of direction, but having a ballpark idea of which way is north is sometimes all you need. My most used method for making quick, crude estimates of direction at night involves the moon specifically its shape. Um, at most phases of the moon it's possible to identify its top and bottom and if that's the case an imaginary line can be drawn between those two points and that line runs generally north and south. An arcing line running from horizon to horizon following the general curvature of the earth passing through the top and bottom points of the lighted moon runs approximately north and south varying by maybe up to 25 or 30 degrees depending on on the season and your location on the globe. Which end of the line points north and which end points south? At my location approximately you know midway between the North Pole and the equator the bottom of the moon is nearer the southern horizon than the northern horizon. Here are some examples of the moon in different phases showing um, how you would identify the top and bottom points of the moon and then draw a line through those points to give you your uh, north-south indicator. When the moon is full, and it's hard to tell top from bottom, I use uh, what I've called the gun sight tracking method to determine uh, compass directions, just, just as I would for tracking the sun on a hazy overcast day. I would also use this method for other moon phases if I wanted a, a more accurate estimate of direction than just uh, drawing this imaginary line through the top and bottom of the moon. As a last resort, individual stars can be used to determine direction 
And, and like the moon and the sun, stars high in the sky generally track from east to west. By using the gun sight tracking method, you can create a reliable ground compass indicating north, south, east, and west. However, this does not work for all stars in all situations. For example, the closer you get to the North Pole and the higher the North Star sits in the sky, the less reliable the path of individual stars near the North Star becomes. This is because stars rotate around the North Star. Those above the North Star are moving in an arc east to west, but those below the North Star are moving in an arc west to east, and those on the left side of the North Star are moving in an arc south to north, and those to the right of the North Star are moving in an arc north to south. Very confusing. But the solution to the whole problem is to track only stars that are as close as possible to overhead, approximately in the center one-fourth of the night sky. Uh, another use of single stars is um, the first star or two that appear at dusk and the, the last bright star or two to be visible at dawn, uh, those evening and morning stars that are actually planets, they can be trusted for uh, the gun sight tracking method, even if they're near the horizon. So I hope these methods will come in useful to you sometime when you're out there at night trying to get yourself oriented, but you don't have the, the modern day tools that we're normally accustomed to. I appreciate you watching. Uh, good luck and enjoy your time in the outdoors.